Welcome back to another beautiful day in the land of music. Douglas here, and we just got done a um, rehearsal at church, and it's kind of for a live recording thing just because of the situation going on um, with the world today. But I wanted to show you my keyboard setup here. Um, I brought the Nord with me, and I've got um, they, the church has a Korg SV1 here. So it's the same setup I have at home, but I wanted to show you what I do live and go through some of the kind of some tips and things that I do live with the Nord. Um, today I ended up only playing the Nord. I didn't actually play the Korg at all, but I would do the Korg um, with some pianos and electric pianos live is good for that. Um, but just because of the way that the recording was happening and everything with the video, um, I just ended up using the Nord because that was kind of what was up top here. So anyway, real quick, um, make this a short video, but I've got the Nord up top here. I've got a tiered keyboard stand, um, have the Korg down here. It is a little low um, just to try to hit a, a middle height here with the keyboard so the Nord's not too high and the Korg's not too low. Um, I've got the Korg probably lower than it should be for typical piano playing. Um, you're, you should be about level here and my wrist is down, um, but the Korg is a little up so it kind of balances it out. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around, show you the Nord, show you a couple of settings on there. Um, but I've got down here, I've just got the mic off to the side here because I do sing as well while I'm playing. So let me flip this around. Um, down here with the sustain pedals, I've got the Korg SV-1 on the left here and the Nord on the right. This one is taped down. Um, some other musicians use this Korg and they prefer it taped down. I like to be able to move it around because depending on, um, <laughs> I don't know, the style of playing or whatever. Um, so I always have the top on the right, the bottom on the left. And so up here, what I do with some of the settings, I, I use live mode. So if you look up here, the, let me zoom this in a little bit here. So what I use is live mode, which allows me to set up five different presets here that I can quickly run through. And it's seamless fades between the sounds. So if I'm playing the piano and I wanna to switch to pad, or let's say in that case it's electric piano, but pad, I can switch and the piano will continue to ring out while I'm playing the next sound. So that's really, really handy there um, to switch live view on and off, um, live mode, uh, my apologies. To switch live mode on and off, you just toggle that switch there. But what's nice is tweaks you make to the sounds um, get saved um, to the live setting. So as I'm going, if I find that my, um, so I have here a white grand and the soft pad one, and I've done some tweaks over here to the, the res and the frequency to get it a little softer. I also have some reverb on here. And what this allows me to do is I can make live tweaks to this and when I move to another sound and come back, it saved those live. So it just gives me some flexibility there. I do have a B3 here as my third preset. And uh, I usually start off with the faders, um, not quite full strength, and the Leslie on slow. Um, but it will save these. So if I have this Leslie on fast, and I switch over to the piano, play that, and come back to the Leslie, you see it's still on fast. So really handy, again, using this live mode um, to instantly call up presets while I'm playing without having to sift through menus. So that is the biggest thing I use there. Um, and the other thing is the level controls on each of these. So if I switch to my second preset, which is my white grand, you can see my volume on the white grand is not quite um, full speed. So I set this according to how to front of house um, needs for the input. And then I can adjust from there um, my levels here on the pad and the piano layers um, if I had organ layer in here, that would work as well. So that's that's kind of some, some tricks and tips for live use. Um, and the Korg on the bottom here, I usually just set that on uh, either the piano or the electric piano. And I've got the weighted keys. Um, front of house, they give them the input they need and they balance it out from there. Um, then I've got my monitor off to the right here. So that's my setup. I hope this video was helpful. I'm all sweaty because we just finished a three hour photo or a video shoot um, because we're doing live church instead of um, doing it or doing it via like Facebook live, YouTube live, all that instead of in person. So hope that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions about my live setup, um, I've used this for well, 
the, the Korg for years live. Um, the Nord I've used for maybe half a year and I've used it live a few times um, around Christmas. I used it for the Christmas Eve service and um, have used it here at church um, with the Korg. So it works out pretty well. And if you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. I appreciate you guys watching, supporting, and uh, stay inspired. Keep making that music. Talk to you later.